Hi friends, Jeff Allen off the Great Iron. Welcome back. And today I have a very, uh, very cool package. Uh, it's come from Beavercraft, Beavercraft products from the Ukraine. And this happens to be the ads. So we're going to have a quick unboxing, look at it. I'll give you all the specs down below in the description. But uh, let's unbox it and give you my first impressions. When you open the box, you see the lots of cardboard to uh, pr protect the bouncing around. Now, Beavercraft is contacting me to uh, give them a detailed review um, and share my opinions back to them, but also you, the viewer, to, uh, to yeah, to, to see what I think about the two products. In fact, this large product, this box, has uh, they've sent me two products to do a review on, and. Uh, it's pretty pretty unique tool okay this one's called an ads and uh just kind of taking it all in here very interesting you can see the nice beaver craft kind of embossed sheath there uh, on the back a little loop so you can fit uh probably an inch and a half belt through there so that's uh, made for the, uh, obviously, belt carry. And a secondary case, a secondary cover with a snap. And uh, very, very well stitched leather. You can see it's been tanned, it's quite soft. And the ads is much like an axe tool for shaping and carving out uh, kind of curved surface. Okay, okay. That is quite sharp, quite sharp out of the box. It's got this very kind of natural rustic finish on it. I don't know if you can see see that. Hand forged. Perhaps that's their attempt at giving that uh, that appearance. Let's see that. There's no, there's no residue coming off it at all. It's not, uh, not greasy, but you can see that curve. And with the short handle, little lanyard hold in the back, and laser engraved Beavercraft logo on there. And again, I'll put all the specs down below. Roughly, this is uh, close to 10, 10 inches long. It feels like. The idea is that you can use it certainly to, to carve out um, bowls and um, I'm going to really put it to the test in another video to really see how many different ways I can use this. I think it's rather kind of quite, quite a little large for any kind of kooks uh, cups or anything like that, but surely you can carve out a bowl and I'm going to try to see how many different ways I can use this. Um, yeah, the head is head is locked up firm. There's a picture. It almost looks like a a brass nail has been driven in to uh, Yeah, you can see where there's been a kind of a wooden discolored um, kind of locking spacer in the head. The name escapes me for that. It's uh, the end has the little chamfer around the end for hammering. Feels good in the hand. That case just drops over the head like that. And then if this were obviously on your belt carry, left or right side, the ads would fall down in there and and uh, carry on the side of your belt. <clears throat> the grain of the wood, okay, runs down along the, the handle. And I'm not an expert in wood ID. It looks like an ash, hickory, oak, or at least that's what it feels like. I'm not really uh, familiar, but I can, I can definitely provide that in the review or sorry in the uh, description below 
All right, well, that's uh, the first piece, unboxing, and uh, we'll, in part two, we'll give you, uh, we'll give it a try and get uh, working inside. This is another product they sent. And again, I'll give you the description below. It's one of their smaller knives. And you can see the Beavercraft logo. Stitching is good. Very soft and um, subtle leather. Leather. Uh, it's not not like a tool tool steel leather, but. And here's the knife. There's a Beavercraft insignia on it there. Slight hollow grind. Super sharp. Oh, that's great. And I really like that shape. Okay, it's kind of like this uh, sheep's foot or drop point on the on the front. The spine could use a touch up in terms of 90 degrees. And uh, again, I'll put all the specs down at the bottom. It's just kind of stained wood. There's a couple of uh, kind of Allen key uh, or Torx looking screws holding the handles on. I think it is an Allen key. Fit and finish. Uh, not, not super tight. Uh, you can see, I'm not sure if you can see there, some of the, the, the scales and then the, the interior steel is a little proud. But, you know, I'm okay with that. I don't mind a little bit of, if I was very picky, I could touch that up quite quickly. I do love the blade shape. And this particular knife, I think it has a slight, it's a hollow grind. So it's not a full Scandi, it's uh, obviously hollow grind with, uh, you can see that bevel there. But uh, it feels good. It's, it's a great size. I've got rather kind of large, large hands and uh, it fits nicely, not a lot of contour to the blade. Kind of flat scales, but it's it fills out the hand nicely. The spine could use a touch-up for uh, feral, feral rods, if that's something you're into. But, uh, feels like, I mean, it performs, performs as it should. This is just a small piece I have laying around here. But uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite nice. Obviously, I love kind of getting using any new new products like this one. I don't even know if I need to strop it up a bit. You could use a little little bit, but it's it's quite sharp. Like, I'm not even sure I can get it much sharper to be honest. We'll pull throughs with the knife, but the blade has a kind of a bit of a coating. It looks like a it's almost like it's been blued, like a gun bluing. You can kind of see that's the horizontal lines of the finish down through here. You can kind of vaguely feel the machining marks. I like a knife with not uh, a very large belly. Uh, for most of what I do, I don't appreciate that as much as other people might. And that point kind of reminds me of another knife that I have. <clears throat> this is the Condor Bushlore. But you can see how it's a little flatter, not as much belly. And see that profile. So again, I can probably provide some price point in Canadian dollars um, at the bottom uh, in the description, but overall, overall, that's a great, great little knife. Okay, we can give you some specs as well. Here's another 
knife that I, I, I carry and I just like that that size of blade and uh, it's probably about a four four and a half inch blade but I'm gonna have to see how I like the uh, kind of con what would that be a hollow grind and I like how this little notch is there so when you're sharpening on a stone you have that space some people often think that's for ferro rod striking I per personally wouldn't use that for that but uh, that allows you to get get the sharpening right down to the, uh, the bottom or at least that's what my belief is kind of knife expert um, but uh, this one looks pretty awesome Another thing I don't, uh, another thing I'm not a fan of is lanyard holes. So again, these these screws um, prevent you have, from having that lanyard hole, but it's it's typically too small. And uh, this is not a knife that you would um, use for heavy, heavy, heavy chopping. Um, again, the spine measurements I can get you those uh, down below, but this is a, a nice utility knife. Um, pack knife, you can wear it off your belt. Let's have another look at the sheath. It's got the little dome um, clasp on there, and you just kind of pull it over and kind of a Tom Brown, I think it's Tom Brown, like a little stud there. So, this leather tab has a little slit in it to allow the hole to expand, but that's that's that hooks up very well. Slight, slight play in the sheath, but nothing that would prevent, you know, to make the knife fall out. Uh, fit and finish, not bad. Uh, the this particular one may have. I'm not sure if you can see, see this spine on the leather sheath there, where the welt is. It's kind of may have been cut off afterward. I'm not sure their process, but um, it's a little, little off from being square to the rest of the sheath. Again, it's a soft leather. I there is some some kind of a tip and, and sheath flexibility. And again, if anything, I mean, if you pulled hard on any of these, these, um, these kind of rivets, it, it, they might come out. Let's have a look from the inside. You can see the, the rivets there, and then they just, obviously then processed. This one, they would bang that through, snap it, and this, this one would follow up. So I don't know the, the it, it, it it looks nice soft soft leather it would do the job it, I think it's very probably very functional um, over time it might uh, it's hard to say if it would if it would harden up with some uh, if you applied some sort of leather preservative on there whether that would it uh, kind of make the leather a little little harder but it's it's quite soft and subtle right now. You can see the knife comes in, sticks out the top slightly. Again, trying to show you any kind of fit and finish details. It's very hard on the camera to do that. There's some some exposed metal where you can tell the scales. I think were possibly put on. after so they'd be measured and put on afterward so they wouldn't line up perfectly with some uh, some knife knives that are made that are uh, are finished together uh, with the scales on and then then the final fit and finish that way but they're very they're equal equal thickness full tang obviously 
I do feel it's nice. In fact, I'm off this weekend to a wilderness survival course, and I may take this one along with me and give it a go. <clears throat> give it a, an honest review. But pending, uh, pending that, I usually hang on to products a little while and uh, put, put them to the test. So again, this is uh, kind of part one. I will come back to you with a, uh, a very, <clears throat> after some more practical testing, and I'll give you my honest opinion. Uh, so far, obviously I'm pretty happy, pretty excited that Beavercraft included me in this uh, product testing. And um, if you know anything about some of these Ukraine companies uh, producing these, uh, you know, steels and bushcraft uh, products, they, uh, they're quite, quite affordable. So if this one works, to, works out to be something that I would uh, support and be happy to carry, then I'll definitely uh, share that with you. So, so far, pretty, uh, pretty impressed. Uh, I'm not going to rank anything right now. I want to get them out in the field, do another, uh, um, you know, do a personal sharpening, and then give them a good, good field test, and then I'll share that with you in part two. Join me again, and uh, we'll, uh, well, we'll explore these together. All the best. Enjoy your outdoors. Jeff Allen signing off. Bye for now.